Hi, thank you so much, Colin. We are just 10 days away from Christmas and the lights are shining bright at the East Ridge neighborhood in East El Paso. That tradition nearly 60 years old. And Andy, I remember going there to that street as a mm -hmm. little girl and it's still such a staple for many El Pasoans. Absolutely, always like whether you drive around mm -hmm. or maybe walk or around, walk mm -hmm. absolutely just breathtaking to take it in. And the family in that neighborhood, however, is coping with a loss has to manage taking, uh, continue taking part in this annual Christmas tradition. KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltazar brings us this Christmas story. It certainly feels and looks a lot like Christmas here at the East Ridge subdivision. And although a longtime family of their neighborhood is currently grieving the loss of their loved one, the family came together to honor his memory and continue the tradition that he so much loved. My father, when I was little, he would always bring us to the neighborhood. Um, we, we didn't live here yet and we would drive the neighborhood and it was always really exciting and it was one of his goals was to live in this neighborhood. The Garcias have been part of the East Ridge neighborhood for 20 years. Lori's father had wanted to be part of the neighborhood's decades long Christmas light tradition. Not too long after, the Garcias household became known for their unique theme. Star Wars, when my dad first started it, Star Wars was a hit and uh, that's where we, we said let's, let's be the first one on the block to do it. The family, however, would face a difficult challenge this year. And unfortunately, he uh, passed away unexpectedly um, about a week after Thanksgiving. And so that kind of left us in a bind because he was always the leader to help us get it going. But that wouldn't stop them from continuing the tradition Lorenzo Garcia so much loved. Everybody came together. I had uh, my family members came and, and even neighbors offered to help. My husband had to build frames and we got the decorations up within the, the week after that he passed. So we, we did it just for him. Now the family does suggest that the best way to experience the lights is by walking through the neighborhood to avoid the traffic. They are also inviting El Pasoans next week on Friday to their annual Walk the Ridge event, where they will be offering hot chocolate to the community and a starting point for them to commence their trip through the neighborhood. Now the neighborhood is located next to Eastwood High School for any El Pasoans trying to make the journey over here. Reporting from East El Paso, I'm Jesus Baltasar.